Based on true events, this is one film you don't want to miss. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 facts about Battle of the Sexes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be taking a look at some fun facts related to this sports comedy drama. 40 million people are watching. The battle you've all been waiting to see. No, I'm done talking, let's play. Number 5. Emma Stone sucks at tennis. You're still a feminist, right? I'm a tennis player who happens to be a woman. For those who don't know, Battle of the Sexes is about tennis. More than that, it is about one of the greatest female tennis players to ever swing a racket, Billie Jean King. And there's a championship for Billie Jean King. Academy Award-winning actress Emma Stone was tasked with bringing her to life on the big screen, something that required her to play a whole lot of the sport. One would assume that because she was pretending to be a former tennis star, Stone would have some skills on the court. Ironically, tennis isn't really her thing. In fact, the actress admitted that she isn't very good at all. Of course, that's nothing a little post-production editing can't fix. No, I'm done talking, let's play. Number 4. Brie Larson was at one point attached to Star. Uh, Emma Stone was kind of my mentor through this. I've been texting with her and talking with her through this whole thing. A classic example of the uncertainty of the Hollywood casting process. This film had some ups and downs trying to figure out who would play Billie Jean King. While Emma Stone was initially cast, she was forced to drop out due to a scheduling conflict. The producers decided to replace her with another Academy Award winner, Brie Larson. You're gonna love it. What? The world. Everything was hunky-dory until Larson decided to drop out after only a couple of months. Thankfully, Stone had since completed her other project and was thus able to take back the role she was originally cast in. Call Bobby. Tom, it's on. Number 3. The cast and crew know each other well. Eureka, Billy Jean! It's Bobby Riggs. I had a great idea! Hollywood is a small town, and many of its residents have worked together at various points in their respective careers. Take Emma Stone and Steve Carell, who shared the screen in Crazy Stupid Love. Stone and Andrea Riseborough also worked together in 2014's Birdman. Stone even crossed paths with Martha McIsaac in the 2007 comedy Superbad. You know what? I'm actually good right now. Thank you. Still not convinced? How about the fact that Carell previously worked with Battle of the Sexist directors Jonathan Dayton and Valerie Ferris on Little Miss Sunshine? I think we can live with that. Oh, and don't forget the time Ellen Cumming and Emma Stone worked together during the Broadway production of Cabaret. It's clear that the cast and crew of this film are far from strangers. <laughs> Number 2. The song from the trailer is uniquely connected to the story. Hello, the song playing in the Battle of the Sexes trailer is Funeral for Our Friend, Love Lies Bleeding by Elton John. Why is this relevant? Well, ever since their first meeting in 1973, Elton John and Billie Jean King have been very close friends. In fact, the two joined forces many years ago to raise money and awareness for causes such as equal rights and HIV and AIDS. Elton John went so far as to honor Billie Jean King with a song called Philadelphia Freedom, which was released in 1975, and the two continue to remain close to this very day. Number 1. Billie Jean King fought for gender equality. He got 2,000, I got 750. Thought it was totally unfair. As one of the most highly decorated female athletes of all time, King has used her considerable influence to enact positive change around the world. During the 70s, she was a pioneer for women's rights, and in 1973 founded the Women's Tennis Association. You know, we're bad little girls, but that's where it all started. And I think we have come a long way since then. Around the same time, she also threatened to boycott a major tournament unless equal prize money was given to both men and women. This would not be fully achieved for another 34 years. Far from just another comedy, Battle of the Sexes draws many parallels with today's society and the ongoing fight for equal rights and equal pay for women the world over. You're offering the men's winner eight times what you're offering the women's winner. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.